All candidates participating in the forum were asked the same questions and were given the same amount of time to respond. This video was filmed by QAC TV and the questions were selected by editor Angela Price from Reader Suggestions. My name is Nicole Romeo, reporting for the Bay Times and Record Observer. I'm here with Tim McCluskey, who's a Republican Commission candidate for District 2. Thank you for joining us. Nicole, thanks so much for having me. Appreciate it. In two minutes or less, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you want to be a county commissioner. Well, I believe that I'm extremely well qualified for the position. Uh, as a result of my experience as a town councilman in the town of Centerville and the results that I've achieved there over the past five years. I want to share with you why I'm running and I'm asking for your vote and the vote of the citizens to help build the future of Queen Anne's County as a county commissioner. My wife and I are raising our three daughters here in Centerville and they all attend Queen Anne's County Public Schools. I run a small technology consulting business which I founded in 1995 and that affords me the flexibility with my schedule so that I can participate in community events. I'm very optimistic about the future of Queen Anne's County. Uh, I'm running because I want our county to be an affordable and safe place to raise our families. I want to have great schools and recreation options. I want to make sure that we can shop locally as well and that there are plenty of well-paying jobs on this side of the bridge. Five years ago, the voters of Centerville uh, gave me a chance to serve the community by electing me to the Town Council of Centerville. Uh, I'm currently the Vice President of the Town Council of Centerville, and based on my record of success, I was re-elected, uh, and I continue to work each day to make Centerville and Queen Anne's County a better place. We've actually achieved some terrific results. I've helped Centerville maintain what our auditors describe as an enviable financial position. Uh, with healthy enough reserves that's enabled us to lower taxes uh, and still deliver quality services to our community. In contrast, for example, the state and the county have had to raise taxes uh, to manage their debt uh, as well as taking on more debt. Uh, as a county commissioner, I will help keep a lid on spending. Uh, I'll bring the same level of fiscal discipline that I have uh, to the county that I have to the town as well as from my own business. State of Maryland has also uh, honored the town of Centerville for its redevelopment planning uh, to maintain a strong downtown with a sense of community. I've helped lead these efforts and the efforts to protect the bay as well as our environment. The town has also been recognized for our great community planning which underpins all of the success that we've had. Our town has grown and our county will continue to grow. I believe that future development should enhance and not impair our quality of life and I'm excited to make that vision a reality in Queen Anne's County. Thank, Thank you. you. In two minutes or less, explain what you believe are the biggest issues facing the county. So I think the biggest issues that are facing the county are finances, economic development, and education. Uh, on, on finances, many jurisdictions have had to raise taxes and eliminate services in this tough economy. Since I took office uh, on the Centerville Town Council in 2009, I've actually helped improve our services while lowering our taxes 4%, in contrast where the county has actually had to raise them 10% in the same time period. Uh, we've accomplished this by eliminating wasteful spending, seeking out cost-saving uh, measures. As a county commissioner, I will continue to prioritize financial management. Uh, I will build on my experience in Centerville, and I'll find ways to help keep a watchful eye on spending, streamline my operations, and provide better services to the county. Economic development. As a small business owner since 1995, I know how difficult it can be to deal with regulations, increased taxes, and red tape. Over the past five years, I've forged partnerships with the business community in Centerville as well as in Queen Anne's County to plan out, and I, I want to plan on encouraging new businesses, helping businesses succeed, uh, and, and uh, as a result, Centerville has actually been named a Maryland Main Street community based on the work that we've done here in town. Our Centerville Economic Development Authority is actually helping to create a long-term economic development plan for the town, and as a commissioner, I will continue to seek ways to encourage business expansion attract needed businesses to the county, and ease policies and procedures to help businesses succeed. Finally, helping our schools be the best they can be. As I mentioned, I have three daughters that are attending uh, Queen Anne's County Public Schools, and I know how important it is to keep a watchful eye on issues that affect the quality of our school system. As a county commissioner, I will work with the Board of Education, as well as the administration, to expand technology learning opportunities and ensure that your tax dollars are purchasing the best education that money can buy. Thank you. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the proposed Four Seasons development? You know, Four Seasons was actually signed as a contract over 12 years ago. Uh, I, I think that when the county signs contracts, we have to honor them. Um, I, personally, I think that the development is a little too intense. It's not something that I would have negotiated, and I'm, I've been involved as, as a councilman in Centerville in negotiating these types of, uh, of, of development arrangements. Um, I think that it's one where it's, it, I believe that it is going to be coming in. I think that, again, it's a little bit too intense, but it is a contract, and we must, uh, we must honor that contract. Uh, I believe that it will be built. 
Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on public sewer for Southern Kent Island? I've spent a considerable amount of time talking with John Nickerson, the, the county health officer, and, and I do believe that there is a health issue down there, a demonstrated health issue down there, and there has been one for a long time. I think these county commissioners that we have in there, that, that we have in right now, have negotiated a good uh, solution to this problem. It's, it's a solution that I think everybody can live with, and I think it's one that we, that we should be going forward with. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on a public pool for the county and the YMCA project? Queen Anne's County has 265 miles of shorefront and to me for us to not have a public pool, public pool and a commitment to teach every one of our kids to learn how to swim uh, is, is in, unacceptable. Um, I am for the YMCA. I think that we've actually got a, a, a great opportunity here. I think that it will be used by a majority of Queen Anne's County citizens. I think it's a great place in, in the center of the county to put it and I believe that the way that the, that the YMCA will be paid for is a fair way and it will not be coming out of tax dollars, out of property tax dollars. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the new parking permit required to access public beaches at county parks, commonly being called the beach permit? You know, I think that we should have these public parks should be open for free to every citizen uh, of, of the state of Maryland. I'm not uh, in favor of the, the recently enacted uh, fee to enter these parks. I think that people will still find a way to get in, whether it's parking outside of the parks and then walking in. I think that we need to figure out a way to, to, to keep these parks clean, to enforce the rules that we have that are there, uh, but I, I don't believe that uh, raising the fees at this time is the right way to go. Thank you. In one minute or less, please describe your plan for achieving the county's stated goals of controlling growth while promoting economic development. We've done a good job in Centerville through this, uh, and, and, and what I would say is one needs to look at the comprehensive plan. I believe that if you're able to look at the county comprehensive plan, there are enough opportunities within that plan to have healthy economic development, have healthy economic growth, while still maintaining our rural environment, uh, while still following uh, the plans for controlled growth. So I think that the answer is, is within the comprehensive plan. Thank you. Finally, in one minute or less, would you like to revisit any of the issues we've discussed or add anything we've missed talking about? You know, I would like to say that this election is about making sure that our county uh, is an affordable and safe place to raise our families. Uh, we want to have great schools, we want to have good jobs, and we want to have recreation options. Uh, if you think that uh, new energy, new ideas, and enthusiasm is important, uh, I'm asking for your vote. Uh, if you think that proven fiscal discipline, uh, experience maintaining infrastructure is important, I'm asking for your vote. If you think that economic revitalization, attracting new businesses, and growing in a way that's consistent with the comprehensive plan is important, I'm asking for your vote. I've been working hard for the citizens in the town of Centerville for the past five years. I want to bring my experience and knowledge to the Board of County Commissioners for the benefit of all Queen Anne's County citizens, and I'm asking for your vote on June 24th in the primary. My website is www.picktim.com, and I would encourage anybody for going there for more information about my campaign. I want to thank you for the opportunity of coming in. I want to thank everybody for actually watching this and participating in the democratic process. Thank you, and thank you for participating in our forum. Thanks so much, Nicole. To watch other candidates who have appeared in this series, please go to either the QAC TV YouTube channel or visit myeasternshoremd.com. Thank you for watching.